It is senior day here at Grace P. Johnson Stadium. Chris Clayton with you on the UNCP Sports Network and the Braves at home finishing off the season with the Carson Newman Eagles. Finishing off the regular season, that is, as the Braves actually have a game coming up next week. They'll be on the road at Catawba, but that'll be an exhibition game. This is the final game on the regular season slate. UNCP with a big challenge here at home. Carson Newman really runs the football well. They stick to the option and they do it really well. Second in the nation coming into this game it is Carson Newman with about 340 rushing yards per game. So the UNCP defense should have their hands full here in this one. It is actually Carson Newman second in the country behind Lenore Ryan in the rushing category. We'll see how the UNCP defense steps up here in a squad. Uh, code black, if you will, on the defense for UNCP. That does have a lot of seniors. So we'll see if they step up here in their final home game. Carson Newman coming into this game six and four on the year. They're four and three on the sack. This is a team that did beat UNCP last year by a score of 45 to 10. So we'll see if UNCP can kind of rectify that and step up at home. As I mentioned, Carson Newman sticks to the uh, run game and they do it really well. It's going to take a lot of discipline for the UNCP defense as Carson Newman under their head coach Mike Turner in his second year at the helm. He's actually in his 35th year with the program and Turner is a very disciplined coach. He's done some great things with a storied Carson Newman football program as it's going to take discipline from the Braves defense. They haven't really faced a defense or a, an offensive attack like it. Lenore Ryan's similar in that they do run the football, but we'll see how the Braves defensively fare against Carson Newman and their option attack. It's Silas Kipikowicz and jo Josh Chepkesser. There are some of the, uh, the honorary captains at midfield there for UNCP, cross country champions. Kipikowicz last year was the champ and then Chepkesser took it this year. And there they are as they walk off the field. So some other UNCP athletes doing great things here during the fall slate. And being honored for that. Well, we'll see if UNCP can pick up win number three. Obviously the underdog here on paper. Carson Newman has come up a little bit short. They had some playoff aspirations and weren't able to get the job done against some of the better teams in the region, but obviously an excellent season and a very good Eagles team. Let's go through the starting lineup for UNCP as uh, they will kick the ball away defensively for the Braves. In the front four, it'll be a senior in Tyler Hinton, T.Y. Hinton, one of the best defensive players in the history of the program. Dominic Davis and Octavius McLaurin are the interior linemen. Tajay Lyle is the other defensive end. Linebackers on the outside, Donovan Hayes and Jordan Howard. Colton Weeks, middle linebacker. In the secondary, it's Devin Jones starting at one corner. Trayvon Gibson, the other starting corner. The Braves are without the services of Michael Clark in this game, in addition to Sean Everett. So Devin Jones gets the start. And then at the safeties, it's Justin Davis and Josh Manns. The Braves secondary already down to Kimbe Kearney. As he is uh, no longer with the team, originally a starter as well. So the Braves losing some members of the secondary. But the thing is, Carson Newman has won games before throwing only one pass. So this is a team that sticks to the run. Even if it's not working perfectly, they stick with it. And they do it really well. UNCP kicking it deep. It'll be Alex Alvarado. Alvarado, the sophomore. It's been the kicker all year for the Braves. Ball falls over. A little bit of windy conditions outside here in Pembroke. It's a beautiful fall day, if you ask me. It is a little bit chilly. Jackets are out. People are layered up. That wind is certainly a factor. 58 degrees. But there also is a 13 mile per hour wind as well affecting things. Here's a boot deep from Alvarado. Back to receive, Antonio Wimbush catches at the five yard line, looks for a crease out across the 25. Ball was loose, a fumble inside the 30. Braves think they have it, and the signal says they do. UNCP on the opening kickoff. Force the fumble and get a turnover. What a start for the Braves here on senior day. 
Antonio Wimbush has been fantastic this season. Over a thousand yards rushing, averaging eight yards per carry. What a weapon he's been. But he coughs it up and let's see if the Braves can take advantage. Josh Jones, the freshman at quarterback. Hand up up the middle to Claude Williams. He's thrown down. Got about three yards there to the 26. Brave starters on offense. The offensive line is really banged up. They are thin in terms of depth because of the injuries along the front five. Ruben Willis is the left tackle. Over the other right tackle is Josh King. Guards left side Cameron Hodges. Johnny Varga is the right guard. Here's a handoff to Quad Williams and he's taken down near the line of scrimmage by Desmond Farrell, the junior out of Miami. It's a no gain and it'll be third and seven. He lost a yard, it's third and eight now. And for UNCP, starting at center, it's Gage Baldwin. Tied in is Jalen Nixon. It's Isaiah Eller, obviously gonna get a lot of time at tight end as well. Right now, and there's the fullback, Sam Vines. Snap to Jones, dropping straight back. He's pressured, gets rid of it, and it is incomplete. Trying to hit Shimon Hicks there on the near sideline. And it'll be fourth and eight. Be about a 44-yard field goal. And it looks like UNCP is going to try the field goal. It's not Alex, Al Alex Alvarado, who was four for 13 this year or rather six for 13 is Alvarado this season. This is Sean Andrew, the redshirt freshman. From 44 yards out, UNCP looking to get on the bird board first. The boot is up and no good. Wide to the left at the distance. UNCP not able to cash in off the Carson Newman fumble. And the Braves are back on defense. It's tough for the UNCP offense. Got to be able to take advantage of that. Not obviously putting that all on Sean Andrew. With a pretty long field goal there, 44 yards. Obviously you want him to convert, but also the offense not able to take advantage of an opportunity. And just like that, I think that's going to be offsides, and it is. Dominic Davis, redshirt junior out of Lorenberg. Jumping early. Carson Newman gifted five free yards. That'll be first and five for Carson Newman. Here's a quick handoff to Wimbush up the middle. And he is bottled up pretty quickly, but he drove the legs and he's near a first down. He's second and one. For Carson Newman, Wimbush is their, their lead back. The junior out of Kingsland, Georgia. Like I said, over 1,000 yards this year. Averaging over eight yards per carry. That's first in the nation. They also have Sharon Jackson, a capable back. And of course, Derek Evans, the quarterback, is speedy as well and a threat to run. Here's a handoff right up the gut. And that was uh, Sharon Jackson on the carry for a pickup of about three yards to the 39. First down for Carson Newman. For Carson Newman last week, it was a tough loss to Lenore Ryan, 40 to 21. And in that game, the Eagles had seven turnovers. Seven turnovers, five fumbles. They already have a fumble and a turnover today. Here's a late pitch right side to Jackson, gets around the edge and he's near a first down, but a nice gain to the 48 yard line. Mark about the 47, got about eight yards. Here's a beautifully executed option as Evans with a late pitch out to Jackson around the edge. Lenore Ryan came into that game with nine turnovers on the season last week. Before that, seven against Lenore Ryan. And there's a handoff right up the gut. It's a pick up about three yards to Wimbush. It's a first down to midfield. So Carson Newman on the move. 81% of their offense, yards wise, comes on the ground. They only average 78 pass yards per game compared to 338 rush yards. So 
you are going to see the Eagles go ground and stay with that. Here's a handoff right up the middle to Jackson. He's stuffed. A sea of black jerseys throw him down. Forward progress is about three yards. Ajay Lyles and Dominic Davis, the first to meet him. But there is four or five defenders there around Wimbush. This is where you can have an advantage against an option offense. They don't, the offense doesn't pick up a decent amount on first down. If you can get them into an obvious passing situation on third down, that's when you have an advantage. But there is a pass, and it's on cue of first down. It's Whitten Phillips right in the chest, junior out of Augusta, Georgia. Evans, the lefty, launches it in there, and it's a beautifully executed play. So another fresh set of downs. Here's a handoff right side. This is going to be Jackson. Spins off the pile, still fighting, and he's inside the 30. Into the 28 yard line. Nice run by Jackson. 10 yard pickup. And another first down for Carson Newman. You know, you think a lot of times teams would try to milk the clock when they run the option offense and, and be very patient. But actually, this is a Carson Newman team that has a lot of quick touchdown drives and big plays within this offense. Late pitch out left side to Wimbush. Breaks one tackle from Devin Jones and he's inside the 25. Jones trying to dive at the feet of Wimbush, but he kept going. Little stiff arm and he's to the 22 yard line. A six yard pickup. You know, it feels like you have the option bottled up well and the defense is doing a nice job and they have it shut down. But then before you know it, all of a sudden, whoa, they got four yards out of a play that looked like nothing. Or they got six yards out of a play that looked like there was going to be a no game. And here's Jackson right side. Oh, he stood up near the line of scrimmage. Nice play there by Tyreek Ramser. Ramser, the redshirt sophomore out of Shelby. Bang, met him right in the hole. But again, like I mentioned, even on a nice play like that, it's a first down for Carson Newman. That's how this offense is designed. Under 10 here in the first in a scoreless game. If you're just joining us, Carson Newman fumbled the opening kickoff, couldn't, and UNCP recovered, and couldn't get anything out of it. It was a three and out, a missed field goal. Handoff, fake handoff of the middle. Evans kept it, and he's taken down. Thought that was a handoff up the gut initially, but it was kept there by Evans. Looked for a moment there like he was going to hand it off to... Dimitri Salisbury, big tailback. Looked like he had a hole too, but Evans kept it. Ultimately did get three yards. Clock bleeding down to 9.15. Here's Evans right side. He's taken down in the backfield. Loss of a yard. Nice job of the UNCP defense. That was heck of a play by Devin Higgins. Make it a play on the ball. So Cam Cauldron and T.Y. hitting in the area. There's a few players there. Give it to T.Y. T.Y. All-time leader in school history in sacks and tackles for loss as well. And hitting play in his last game here at Grace P. Johnson Stadium for UNCP. Here's a big third and seven. Evans the pitch left side of Wimbush. Salisbury the blocker out in front. First down and more. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown. Touchdown, Eagles. Carson Newman in on a third Terry down. Wimbush, and about seven yards to go. It's a 14-yard touchdown. Heck of a block by Salisbury laying it on Cauldron. On and then he also got a hand downfield there on Devin Jones. Wimbush patiently waiting behind the blocker and gets in for a score. UNCP defense not able to hold strong there. A nice drive for Carson Newman. And the extra point is up and good. The extra point is good with 8.30 remaining in the first quarter. Carson Newman 7, UNCP zero. Well, it was a great opportunity for the UNCP defense. 
They're on third and about eight, unable to take advantage. Carson Newman's actually struggled at times on third down this season, but that time around, they're able to pick up a touchdown. All-time leader in passing yards. The answer is Luke Trawl for UNCP, of course. Yards passing through his career. Their last Today's time out on the field. By the Robinson County Commissioner's Green it's Initiative. A, uh, tough loss Did for the know, Braves. We spent up to 90% of our time Two and indoors. six on the year entering this game. Trying to end the season, the season on a positive note. It is Stand disappointing, obviously, reminder, for Brave Nation, but such a young team as UNCP. So many freshmen, especially on the offensive Stadium. side of the ball. This Braves losing, of course, last week to Mars Hill, 34-21. But hoping they can use this game experience here this week and then even look ahead to next week and build on it moving forward. So that last drive for Carson Newman, 12 plays, 73 yards in just over five minutes. Braves can answer. Carson Newman this year defensively averaging about, her opponents are averaging about 26 points per game. So the Eagles offense has been prolific this year, but their defense has been a little bit up and down. If UNCP's offense can fare better than their one possession so far off the fumble. There's a three and out and a missed field goal. So out to boot it deep for Carson Newman. It'll be Caden Patterson, true freshman out of Clarksville, Tennessee. Back to receive for UNCP. It is Devin Jones and uh, McKinley Nelson back there for the Braves. Here's a boot deep from Patterson. This is actually going to go to Nelson. Dropped at the six, picks it up, looking for a crease, and he is bottled up. Trying to fight and score through, and he does get out to the 20-yard line. Off return by Started off dicey, Nelson. ultimately. Nelson to the 20 and a half yard line. So again, here comes the Braves offense. Way back at their own 20. Quad Williams, the starting tailback. Been playing well as of late for the Braves. Of course, uh, Josh Sheridan was playing fantastic for UNCP. He had a career game before he unfortunately went down with an injury. So you got two capable backs in Quad and Kelly Nelson as well. Sheridan off to the right side, trying to get around the edge. Nice run ac out across the 25, up to the 27. Six and a half yards. Got a nice block out in front by Josh King. Josh King, the true freshman right tackle out of Wake Forest. Now it's going to be Sam Vines that comes in. Lined up kind of in the tailback spot next to Josh Jones. Three wide receivers. Jones rolls out left side. Gets a block. Throws downfield for Hicks. Caught. Turns and burns inside the 30. Inside the 20, shoved out of bounds by Farrell, but a nice pickup for UNCP as they go all the way to the 19-yard line. 54 yards on the pass to Shimon Hicks. Got behind the defense and took off. How about the speed from Hicks? Got himself an extra 15 yards or so. Vines is still in the game as the fullback. He actually laid a nice block on that last play to give Jones some more time. Nelson, the tailback, two wide receivers. Tied in, and there's Nixon. Jones looking to run. Still looking to throw. Now he'll just take off, and he'll get inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds. Spot him at about the nine-yard line. Now they give him all the way up to the eight. That last play was actually the 14-yard line where they spotted it, not the 19. So it was actually a 59-yard completion there to Shimon Hicks. There's a 
second down, handoff to Nelton, no, it's a fake. Jones around the edge to the five, and he shoved out, but he got a first down. It'll be first and goal for UNCP at the three yard line. UNCP's long this season was a 79 yard pass. That was the second longest completion of the season, that 59 yarder there to Hicks. had that 79 yard touchdown earlier this year and that was against Central State. But Hicks is the leading receiver this year for the Braves. Here's the first and goal. Hand it off left side, that's Quad Williams. Cut it upfield, in for a touchdown. Four yard touchdown and the Braves even things up with a heck of a drive. Sparked by the 59-yard pass to Hicks. Well orchestrated by Josh Jones. How about the true freshman Jones? He showed off the arm downfield to Hicks. Showed off some running ability. And the Braves, impressive. And with an extra point, they can tie it up. Five plays, 79 yards in just over two minutes. Extra point from Andrew is through, and we're tied. like that after UNCP, the opening kickoff fumbled by Carson Newman. And UNCP had the ball inside the Eagles 30. Couldn't get anything going, it was a quick three and out. But then they just went on a huge drive that started at their own 21. So a nice answer for the young Braves offense. Now, unfortunately, they'll have to boot it back to the Carson Newman offense able to march down the field themselves. But again, I mentioned earlier, Braves did add a, a, a game, so UNCP will be playing next week. They'll be on the road at Catawba. Another opportunity for this young team to get some game experience. Alvarado out to boot this ball deep. See for Carson Newman, Antonio Wimbush, who fumbled earlier. Here's the kick deep. It's a pretty good one there by Alvarado. It is retrieved. Actually, this is Marcus Williams looking for a crease out across the 20, tripped up and down at the 29. So Marcus Williams, the junior, Popka, Florida, setting up Carson Newman just inside their own 30. This is an experienced Carson Newman squad. From their head coach, who's in his 35th year with the program, to the offense overall. Quarterback Derek Evans, the junior, in his 22nd career start. The junior does such a great job running the offense smoothly. Calmly looks at the sideline and hands it off up the gut. It's going to be Wimbush who spins downfield and gets up to the 38. Nine yards for him. And that's the thing is you're not going to see very many throws. Carson Newman only throws if they really have to. But when you can run the ball like that for nine yard chunks, there's no need to throw the ball. Here's a handoff of the gut again. That's Wimbush, and he's got a first down to the 44. Wrapped up by Josh Manns. Check that Amari Bryce Green and Octavius McLaurin on the tackle. Bryce Green had a big fumble recovery earlier this year. Throwing the ball, Derek Evans, 85 passes this year. That's in 10 games. There's a slant, oh, through the hands of his wide receiver, Phillips, incomplete. If Phillips pulls that in, he's gone for a touchdown. Misread there by the UNCP defense, but Evans threw that one about as hard as he could. And it goes past the shoulder of Phillips. Got to be 
second and ten. Phillips leading receiver this year. He has 16 catches, just over 300 yards. A couple touchdowns. There's a handoff up the middle to Wimbush, drives the legs. And now it'll be a third and six, four yard pickup. So that's the risk you take if you're Carson Newman. Throwing it on first down, it's an incompletion, and now you're forced into an obvious passing down on third down, which is not where the Eagles are their most comfortable. Evans, though, has experienced three touchdowns, four interceptions thrown this season. Three wide receivers, a couple to the near side. Wimbush and Salisbury are the tailbacks. It will be a run play left side. Pitch to Salisbury and UNCP all over and he's chopped down. Well done by Donovan Hayes to make the play. Braves weren't fooled, they stayed disciplined. Everyone stayed in their lanes and they make a play on it. For UNCP, I think that was actually Tyreek Ramser that made the tackle. Way. It's a tackle right at the line of scrimmage and a stop. And now it's a punt deep off the foot of Craig Koenig. Bounces at the 24, takes a slow roll to the 20. And that's where the Braves will start this drive. Last drive for UNCP started at their own 21, and it was a five play, 79 yard drive for a touchdown. Looking for a similar result here. For Carson Newman defense, he's done a solid job against the pass this season. They have allowed 10 touchdowns, but only about 12 yards per completion. Braves had a 59 yard earlier. Here's a quick screen, he's lit up in the backfield. What a great play by Antonio Henderson. The outside linebacker there, number 20, lighting up Corey West for a loss of three yards back to the 17. So it's a second and 13 now for UNCP. Three wide outs, here's Josh Jones, pressure, throws sideline, that's a completion to Tyshawn Carter, oh, he dropped it late. Are they gonna give him a catch though? They might give him a catch and fumble. And they do, they give Carter the catch. So from the 17 to the 26 they go, a nine yard completion. Oof. Obviously, we have a little slow motion there in a replay, but if you're a Carson Newman coach, you're probably questioning that call. Third and four for UNCP. Big opportunity here for the Braves, trying to keep this drive alive. UNCP 0 for 1 on third down. Their other third down attempt was a third and eight. Here's a throw over the middle and a catch. Incomplete, but a foul, a helmet to helmet hit. Taking a lick there over the middle of the field for UNTP was Fahim Diab, the tight end, bang. And that is a pretty cut and dry targeting there on a defensive player, defenseless player. It was Darius Williams, the free safety the guilty party on that hit. And we will get the call. And so, so there's the call on Marcus Williams, the targeting. Automatic first down for the Braves. So for UNCP, that's a catchable ball over the middle of the field for Diab, and I th think he, he probably would have caught it had he not taken that huge hit. He also had a defender draped on him. 
Good effort from Diab, a guy who hasn't played a ton this year. Get the chance here in this game. Diab, a freshman out of Charlotte, 6'5", 210 pounds. Good to see him get an opportunity. Braves the fresh set of downs. Diab's in the game still. Here's a handoff right side, Quad Williams. Fighting, driving the legs. He's out to the 45. Let's pick up there for quad, four yards. Play looked like it was gonna get stuffed pretty quickly. Looks like they also had a fullback in there for UNCP was Cam Lowry. Cam Lowry, a linebacker on the roster, coming in there as an extra blocker. I mentioned earlier there's not really any depth at offensive line right now. Just so many injuries. It's a drop and incompletion. So perhaps the Braves get creative and bring in guys like Lowry or maybe some tight ends to play offensive line or add some extra blockers at least. It's a third and six. 142 left here in the first quarter. Been a good one for UNCP, playing a very good Carson Newman team who's six and four on the year, and the Braves have come to play. Didn't cash in on an opening fumble from the Eagles, but now playing well. Carter comes in motion. Braves 0 for 1 on third down. Here's a throw left side, a completion, and a first down across midfield, breaking a tackle, driving the legs. It is Marcus McDonald, the wide receiver, and a first down. So how about McDonald there? Fresh set of downs, UNCP. Earlier third down this drive, got a personal foul targeting. This time around. They pick up a standard completion on the near side for a first. Jones with a handoff to Fines and he's taken down in the backfield. Down goes Sam Vines, tackle for loss. Gotta be a loss of a yard. That was heck of a play by uh, Jatavius Ponder there to make a tackle. Defensive lineman diving in, pierced through and made the play. with a second and 11. Forced into a passing situation here. Got some pressure, Jones throws. as a completion to Hicks inside the 35. And he's near a first down. It'll be a yard short, but it's third and one. Nice 10 yard gain. Josh Jones really playing well for UNCP. He's now five for seven, 88 yards. set here for UNCP. Here's a handoff to Vines, and he's tripped up and down in the backfield. That's a nice play by Ponder, diving in to make the play. It'll be fourth and three now. And the Braves are gonna go for it, I think, but it's the end of the first quarter. So we will head on to the second quarter and for UNCP situation there where they had a fullback playing running back in a situation where he maybe isn't as comfortable there and finds did his best but couldn't break the tackle, couldn't find the hole to pick up a first down. It's taken down for a loss of a couple so now it'll be a fourth and three. Tough break after getting a nice 10 yard pickup on second and 11. So for UNCP, let's give you some totals there from the first quarter. Heck of a performance from the Braves taking on a very good Carson Newman team. 111 yards of offense for UNCP. 87 for Carson Newman. Braves have racked up 88 yards passing, 23 on the ground. 78 yards rushing for the Eagles. 
nine yards passing for Carson Newman. But really, the most impressive aspect if you're watching this game has got to be the passing attack for UNCP. Josh Jones. And the receiver is really on the same page. 88 pass yards so far. Completions of four different receivers. It's a fourth and three from the Carson Newman. 35 Braves are going for it. They had a defensive end jump there. They didn't snap the ball. Now they're going to. And they do snap it. That's an offside. Free play. Jones goes deep. Intercepted. And they're going to play this one out. It's running out of bounds there for Carson Newman is Jaquan Smith, but an obvious offsides against Carson Newman. And the Braves should have a free first down. But there are a couple flags on the play. You're hoping if you're UNCP, one of these is not on the Braves. UNCP had a couple Eagles defenders jump. They had one jump, didn't snap the ball. Did get one to jump and then snapped it, and that's where we're at. Let's see what the call is here. Fourth and three. If it is an offside, it's a first down for the Braves. Josh Jones is pumping his fist. He thinks this is in favor of the Braves. Encroachment. Okay, so it's an encroachment on Carson Newman that's declined, a defensive holding accepted, and UNCP's got themselves an automatic first down. First and 10 for UNCP there at the Carson Newman 25. A couple guys in motion, Vines and Nixon. There's a hand up to Quad Williams. Squirts through one tackler, and he's thrown down at the line of scrimmage. Pretty nice job by Quad to get back to the line of scrimmage. They do actually do mark him in the backfield, though. Loss of a yard for UNCP. Not only does UNCP have a young offensive line, but it is a banged up O-line as well. There are only five healthy offensive linemen for UNCP. And at this point in the season, really no one's at 100%. Reuben Willis, Cameron Hodges, Gage Baldwin, Johnny Varga, and Josh King, the ones that are playing are the only healthy linemen. Here's a reverse to Eric Price. He get in, gets inside the 25. He fumbled, ball straddling the sideline. And they give it to Carson Newman. Now there is a flag on the play, but Price coughed it up, and the Eagles recovered. Price, the transfer from Appalachian State, ran track there. Oh, it's a holding on the Braves, declined, and Carson Newman takes over on the fumble. It's a nice little four-yard gain from Price out of a play that looked like there wasn't anything there, but fumbled late, and now the Eagles take back over. Disappointing if you're UNCP, that was a a nice drive, a methodical drive the Braves are putting together. So now Carson Newman from their own 25. And up to Salisbury, got a huge lane out across midfield, the 40. Chasing him down, not able to get there. Salisbury, touchdown. Tyreek Ramsher couldn't catch up. Dimitri Salisbury goes 75 yards for a score. So the Braves are marching it right down the field. Fumble stops their drive, and then the next play, the Eagles score. Braves drive went 10 plays, 55 yards, and 440, and ended in a fumble, and then 75-yard touchdown the other way. 
14-7, Carson Newman takes the lead. Well, it's the type of mistakes that uh, are tough to overcome if you're UNCP. Obviously, the Braves, the positive here is the Braves are really moving the football well. I mean, UNCP's offense is playing well here against Carson Newman, regardless of the finish of that drive. But it's, if you want to win football games and do it consistently, it is uh, difficult to do so when you have, in this case, only one penalty today for UNCP, but when you have penalties and fumbles, those are uh, important. And it's the type of things the coaches hark on is the little things can decide whether or not you win or lose football games. And the little fumble there on the end around kills the drive and gives Carson Newman an opportunity in which they take advantage. And that's what the Eagles offense has been doing all year. This is, for the most of the season, this has been the best offensive attack in the country from Carson Newman. Their rushing numbers were ahead of Lenore Ryan. And then they played Lenore Ryan last week, and Lenore overtook him in that category for best rushing attack in the country. A little bit of different concepts. It's kind of a wing T look from Lenore Ryan. It's the option for Carson Newman. Both do it well. The Eagles were done in by seven turnovers last week. They have one turnover already here today. Here's a deep kick off the hands of Nelson. It'll be a touchback. Kind of misjudged that ball, went over his head. Off, off the foot touchback. of Patterson there for Carson Newman. So again, a really nice 10 play, 55 yard drive last possession for the Braves. Before that, they had a five play, 79 yard drive that went for a score. So the Braves are moving the football. Josh Jones, six of eight for 89 yards thus far. UNCP not having a lot of success on the ground yet. Here's the handoff to Nelson. He's got about four as he fights to the 29. UNCP so far 11 carries for 26 yards. Their longest run of the day was actually six yards. Quad Williams had a six yard carry as did Josh Jones. They do have a 59 yard pass though. The aerial attack has been working. Second and six. And it's another drop for Quad Williams. Same play. Earlier for Quad Williams, trying to hit him in the flat, and he wasn't able to haul it in. And it happened again, so it's third and six now. So Josh Jones now sitting at six for nine on the day, and two of those were drops. Two of the incompletions, I should say, were drops. So he could be eight for nine right now. Jones seems to be focused in, really playing well. Third and six, Jones steps up in the pocket, overthrows his man, Corey West, incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. Had West sitting down there in the uh, little pocket in the defense, but he couldn't hit him. A lot on the same page as West, and it's Braves now one for four today on third down. And a seemingly unstoppable Carson Newman offense will take over. Isaac Parks, one of the best punters in the country this year, averaging over 43 yards per boot, launches it deep. Another pretty good one. And back to receive this one is Antonio Wimbush, and he's spotted up and thrown down. For UNCP, it's Jordan Howard and Ramsher making the play on Wimbush. That was actually Desmond Farrell as Desmond Farrell back to receive that punt. So Farrell spotted back at the 24-yard line. That's where the Carson Newman offense takes over. 153 yards rushing thus far for the Eagles. A couple touchdowns, just under 10 yards per carry. Much of what we've seen already this year, game in, game out from this offense. There's a run play of the near side. That's Wimbush. He gets four yards to the 28. 
Carson Newman this year. They are led by Wimbush with his 1,000 yards, but they've got three other ball carriers with at least 400 yards rushing. Marcus Williams, Sharon Jackson, and Derek Evans, the quarterback. Also, you have Toot Johnson, 334 yards rushing this year. And by the way, Salisbury, who had the 75-yard score earlier, he entered this game with only 166 yards in the season. Tacked on 75 with that scamper. Two and a half yard gain, and it'll be third and short. Got through the grasp of Hinton initially, but then Justin Davis is there to make the tackle. Kind of an in-between little space here for the Carson Newman offense. Third and three. We know the Eagles, you probably guess and guess safely they're gonna run the ball here. Usually you know, nine out of 10 times they are gonna run the ball, you just can't stop it. And there it is, a first down as they go right up the gut for a first down. That was Sharon Jackson on the carry. Earlier, Carson Newman, a 12-play drive that went 73 yards. Also had a big play, a 75-yard score. The hand up, up the guts, and thrown down in the backfield after getting a nice little gain. That's Wimbush. Wimbush got about three yards. This is one of those physical games in the trenches where Defensive linemen on paper are going to have a lot, a lot of tackles. Dominic Davis, Octavius McLaurin each have four tackles apiece. Tied with Jordan Howard for the team lead today. Obviously against the spread offense. It's the linebackers and defensive backs that rack up the tackles more often. Here's a throw near side and a completion across midfield. Nice throw and a catch by Devin Moore. Like. The Braves had a chance to break on that ball. But it was Jordan Howard who was just a little bit late. First down, Eagles. Fresh set it down for the Eagles. Strive started back at their own 24. Just chipping away, edging into UNCP territory here on senior day. There's a handoff up the gut, spinning off a pile is Wimbush, and he's got a gain of about six yards to the 43. That's actually Sharon Jackson, excuse me. That's Jackson and Toot Johnson that are now in the backfield. Tied in there in motion is Makarov. He shifts to the right side of the formation. And here is a handoff to Jackson. Cuts forward, got a little bit of a lane, and he's all the way up to the 30. That's a 13-yard pickup to Sharon Jackson. They are really spreading the wealth, as they always do. Wimbush today with nine carries. Jackson also with nine carries. Two for Salisbury, and the quarterback, Derek Evans, also with two. 189 yards rushing here in the first half for Carson Newman. They've got Johnson and Jackson in the backfield. Makarov's the tight end. Here's a handoff to Jackson, and he's thrown down to the grass. As Dominic Davis for UNCP. Actually, Octavius McLaurin, rather. 285 pound lineman at Lornburg. Richard Freshman, a guy that started every game this year. A ton of experience for UNCP. He'll be back next year. It's going to be tough to replace defensive ends for the Braves. T.Y. Hinton and Tajay Lyles, both seniors, playing their last games here at Grace P. Johnson. Of course, you've got Justin Davis and Josh Manns, the two starting safeties, departing as well. Evans, right side, and he's taken down in the backfield. Loss of a couple back to the 30. Mari Bryce Green in the area. 
Derek Evans with a carry, stopped by number 29, Justin That's actually Davis. Justin Davis. Mentioned the senior, and he's in on the play. Dominic Davis, the redshirt junior, also piling on top late as well. Third and 10, an obvious passing situation for Carson Newman. It's not where they're comfortable. Let's see if the Braves, shorthanded, secondary, inexperienced, can step up and make a play here. Derek Evans, two for three today for 19 yards. The Braves, 30. Evans drops back. Pressure coming from the backside. It's a screen back across to Wimbush. Beautifully set up. Luke Brooks, though, what a play! Fights through the block and takes him down at the 25. Wow, that should have been a first down for sure, but Luke Brooks. How about that? Look at the size difference, and Brooks fights through the block of Jordan Seal, the junior center, and takes down Wimbush. Fourth and five. Huge play and a huge opportunity now for the UNCP defense. Finding under seven here in the first half. Fourth and five. It's a handoff up the middle and UNCP holds strong. It's a stuff for the Braves. Turnover on downs. A pile of bodies in the middle holding strong, nowhere to go. Dominic Davis, 315 pounds, was there to start things off as the foundation and then there was nothing Wimbush could do. Gain of only a couple. Wow, so a long drive results in nothing for Carson Newman. 11 plays, 53 yards, and a turnover on downs. Over six minutes wound off the clock. The UNCP has allowed 215 yards. They have 115, but the Braves are right in this game. They weren't able to cash in on a fumble earlier, but now they get a turnover on downs. Think about the fact that UNCP was marching it right down the field and fumbled. I mean, UNCP on the scoreboard, yeah, they're down seven, but they got to feel pretty good about where they're at. Heck of a performance here at home. Here's the UNCP cross-country team being honored on the field, and as you can see from the banner there, Peach Belt Conference champions. Fall sports starting to wrap up, and what a performance for the men's cross-country team taking the crown. I mentioned earlier Josh Jeff, Josh Jeff Kesser and Silas Kipkowicz, one and two in the Peach Belt. And those two and the entire team, including Logan Ward, looking to do some special things at NCAA regionals as well. UNCP soccer team also had a heck of a year. That Unfortunately, they were not selected in the NCAA tournament, which was a little bit of a surprise. Didn't make it as an at-large, but a great season for them as well. Another double-digit win season for the UNCP soccer team. Here's Quad Williams busting through, trying to get to the second level, and he's got 10 yards. Williams now seven carries, 24 yards. Quick little pitch. Defense got out of position. And UNCP takes advantage. That was Timoris Coates, the senior. So he's been phenomenal this season. One tackle for loss, and he breaks a school record for tackles for loss in a season. But Coates couldn't get through. So a fresh set of downs for the Braves out across the 30. Jones looking to throw towards the sideline. Overthrown incomplete. Shimon Hicks, the intended wide receiver. That was a tight window Jones tried to fit it into, a risky pass. Nothing doing, even if, it's, if Hicks gets perhaps his hands on the football, Darius Williams was coming through to lay a big time hit. Would have been a painful one for Hicks. So it's a second and 10 with four wide receivers. Williams goes in motion out to the right side. Jones looking to throw middle, that's a completion near the 40. Immediately wrapped up and down. On the catches, 
Shimon Hicks again for UNCP. So how about the game Hicks is having? Two catches now, over 60 yards on the day. It'll be a third and four. Third and four. The Braves today, one for four on third down. Need one here. Jones, the freshman, rolling out right side. He's pressured, lobs it up towards the sideline, incomplete. Trying to hit Corey West. And we have a flag on the play. This is going to be a rough in the passer on the Eagles. And the Carson Newman defenders are talking to one another, saying, why'd you do that? That was Ross Pryor, the senior out of Kingswood, Texas, that's going to be called with it. So Pryor's tagged with the roughing. And a huge break for UNCP on third down. Same thing happened earlier on a third down with the targeting. Braves will take it though, and the drive continues. Moving across midfield to the 46. I mean, that's a that's a penalty. Obviously, you want to avoid if you're if you're Carson Newman. I mean, in any situation, you want to avoid that, but. Especially in a situation where Jones didn't even have a chance. No one was open. He just kind of lofted it out of bounds. And that's the last situation you want to rough in the passer on third down. Jones with the play action, rolling again. He's going to take off and run inside the 40. Slides down, takes a hit. But he's got near a first down. Nine yards for Josh Jones. And give the, give the freshman some credit. What a game Jones is playing. He took a hit there, no call. That was Mario Mezzer. And hit Jones late, but his slide was a little bit late as well. So that was a close call, a rule to be no penalty. Second and one for UNCP in a good spot. Here's a run play right side to Quad Williams. Cut it up field, he's got a first down and more. Broken tackle inside the 30, out of the 28, and the Braves are on the move. That's an eight yard gain for Quad Williams. 10 yard pickup earlier this drive and Quad looks like he's getting his feet underneath himself as well. It's a Braves offensive line that is banged up and very young, but they are starting to assert themselves at the line of scrimmage. And now UNCP brings in Cam Lowry. Into a fullback spot. And off to Quad, looking to bounce it outside. There is nothing there. He will lose a yard, or at best, fight back to the line of scrimmage, or to the uh, yeah the original line of scrimmage, which he does. It'll be second and ten. So second and ten for UNCP, benefiting from a roughing the passer earlier this drive. That was actually. Ultimately called on Jatavius Ponder. Jones rolls left side, throw it to West, and it's thrown behind him, incomplete. Would have been at least a six yard gain. If you can put that on the money, West can turn it upfield and get a few more. Jones. Sometimes with those short throws, you kind of try to aim it and just toss it to a guy. And Jones pays the price, such a strong arm. And that little toss, he wasn't able to put it on the money for what would have been a probably seven, eight yard gain. But now it's third and 10 instead. A little bit of confusion for UNCP to get the right guys on the field. Jalen Nixon, the tight end in, is in there. Quad Williams and UNCP. Are they calling a timeout? Not Braves are calling a timeout, they are not. Trips to the right now for UNCP. Braves with Jalen Nixon in there, tied in. Here's a handoff to Quad. Cuts it upfield, and he goes down at the 26-yard line. Three yards for Quad, and I think that play call there shows you UNCP is likely planning on going for it. And the Braves are. So that run play was trying to make this fourth down play right here more manageable. And they need to get just inside the 20. 
19 and a half yard line is the first down. So it's really a, more accurate to say a fourth and seven for UNCP. Approaching three minutes left here in the first half. Couple receivers out to the right. Jones takes the snap, looking to throw left side to Nixon, and he's got it for a first down. To the 13. 13 yard pickup. Jones lofts it in there nicely. And a well designed play. Credit the offensive line as well. Forming the pocket around Jones. He's able to put it on the money. For the Braves, not a first and goal. It's good news, they still have a first down available at the two yard line. Makes things more manageable here at the 12. Here's a handoff up the middle to Quad Williams. Juking around, he's only gonna get two. Late fumble, but he's already ruled down. Be second and eight. So this drive for UNCP now, 10 plays, 67 yards. A drive that started over four minutes ago. This first half has flown by, which can happen when you have a team like Carson Newman that likes to run the football. Here's a play action, Jones looking to throw, pressure, it steps up and he will run inside the 10 and he goes out at about the nine, maybe the eight. By Josh Jones, run out of bounds by number 20, Antonio Henderson. And they spot him just inside the nine yard line, so give Jones a yard. Third and six. Providing chase was Jason Cook Calhoun, the defensive lineman. Jones got past him to avoid the sack. Well, the ball's closer to the eight now. So it's a third and six for UNCP. Field goal would be solid for the Braves. Keep yourselves in the game here, but when you get this far down the field, this deep in the red zone, you're thinking touchdown. First down's available though at the two. West comes in motion. They will fake a handoff to him. Jones rolls right side, throw it, dropped. Oof, that would have been at least a first down. Not able to pull it in for UNCP. McKinley Nelson, the true freshman. Let his eyes off the football, probably thinking about the end zone. He coughs it up at the three, and the field goal unit comes out for the Braves. So out comes Alex Alvarado. Essentially an extra point here, but from an angle. Officially a 25 yard field goal attempt for Alvarado. The holder, of course, for UNCP, Austin Foley. Kick is up and it is good. Braves get on the board. A little bit disappointed how the drive ended, not able to get in for six, but 12 play, 69 yard drive ends in a field goal. 14 to 10, our score here with. Minute 48 left in the first half. So the Eagles still with three timeouts. They'll certainly be looking to do their version of a hurry up. Obviously not a team that likes to throw the ball, but the way they've run the ball today, they may not need to throw it to be able to get themselves in a distance which they can strike. But how about UNCP? Let's give them some credit here. This is a Braves team that has struggled this season. You know, any time you're losing, there's a lot of uh, frustration. Braves with that, that two week tough hiatus they had due to Hurricane Florence. Tried to bounce back from that. Coming out of Florence, it was a three game losing streak. UNCP bounced back, beat Concord on homecoming. They've lost their last two. But now they are really performing well here at home. And to me, even if the Braves lose this game, there's a lot to be proud of because Carson Newman is an excellent football team. This is a team that's six and four, four and three in the sack. Braves really playing well here at home on senior day. Of course, Braves have that game next week at Catawba. It's a great way to end 2018 season at home. This 
series between these two teams. Carson Newman's three and two against UNCP. Here's a high short kick. It's loose. The ball is loose inside the Carson Newman 40. And the Braves are on it. UNCP comes up with a huge play on a high short pooch kick from Alvarado and McKinley Nelson, who had the drop inside the five, recovers it. The Carson Newman player dove for it, and it bounced off his chest. And the Braves were able to get on it. I believe that was Ross Pryor that dove for it. Obviously not a comfortable situation for anyone to have to dive for the football, but especially someone that's not used to touching the ball. Here's a first and 10 for the Braves. Turn in hand to Quad Williams. He fights and he gets up to the 35 yard line, only two yards per quad. And we are at 90 seconds left here in the first half. Braves in good field position, taking their time here. Three timeouts as well for UNCP. Here's a throw left side and a completion to Tyshawn Carter at the 30. Down he goes. That'll be a third and three for UNCP. About five yards there on that completion. Jones looking to throw, and he's pressured, looking to reverse field, turns and just chucks it out of bounds. Smart decision there by Jones, looking to make a play initially, then turned and just threw it away. So it's a fourth and three for UNCP. 47 on the clock. This would be a long field goal, 47 yards. UNCP took a 44-yard attempt earlier from Sean Andrew. That went wide to the left, had the distance, didn't have the accuracy, but doesn't even seem to be a factor here as the Braves will be going for it. But they will take a timeout with three of them left to perhaps discuss the play call. So three turnovers now for Carson Newman. You have two fumbles and a turnover on downs as well. The Eagles had seven of them last week. It is tough to overcome that many turnovers. Obviously seven, but three and a half as well. But UNCP still down by four. It's an opportunity here. They have had a few drives kind of fizzle out. They had a drive. First play of the game was a fumble, actually, from Carson Newman. Braves had the ball inside the uh, Carson Newman 30, couldn't come up with anything. And then the Braves had the ball inside the Carson Newman 30 again on a long drive. That resulted in a fumble. So UNCP's offense has not come up with all the uh, finishes, the drives that you would need, but defense and special teams is really making some plays for UNCP. So this is a fourth down situation for UNCP. The Braves one for one today on third down. At the Carson Newman 30, Quad Williams is the tailback. And we got a flag. Oh, false start on the Braves. That is the second penalty of the day on UNCP. Been pretty clean overall. Their only other penalty was a offsides. The Braves now push back. Perhaps this changes the play call a little bit. Fourth and eight rather than the fourth and three. So UNCP looking like they're letting the play clock run down and they take a timeout and they do just that. Clock stopped at 47 seconds. Braves now with one timeout left. So 
UNCP looking to discuss things. We're in there. Sharp black jerseys at home. Carson Newman here, the road team, as the Eagles program has really illustrious history. This is not a team that's easy to beat on a year-in, year-out basis. They have really been the last 35 years, 40 years, an elite Division II football program. Five national championships, 21 sack titles, produced 56 NFL players. This is a storied program that had a little bit of a rough stretch. They brought Mike Turner up to the head coach position been with the program for so long, and uh, it looks like he's got them coming back to where they've been before, which is among the best in the SAC Conference. So here we go. The Braves will punt the ball. Braves are looking to punt Carson Newman, or uh, pin Carson Newman deep, not allow them a chance to get anything going here late in the half. So there's Parks looking to pin the Eagles deep. It's a high, short kick, and it's well done. It pinned to the six-yard line. And it was Jordan Howard for UNCP that pulls that ball in safely. So 39 seconds, and Carson Newman just looking to likely here just be safe with the football. Do have a 75-yard touchdown run earlier. So you've got to look to shut down the big play for the Braves. Looks like, it does look like the victory formation, but this is obviously how they line up every play. Here's Wimbush to the right side, looking for a crease out across the 10, tackled at the 14, taken down by Ramser, and also Josh Manns on the tackle. Pickup of eight yards there for Wimbush. And that, I believe, is going to do it for the first half. Play clock will run down to zero. And that'll do it. 14-10 our score here at the end of one half of play. UNCP playing well, really competing against an excellent Carson Newman team. The Braves have not been able to finish off drives. They've come up short in some big situations, but they've forced three turnovers from Carson Newman and certainly have a chance in this game. Going toe-to-toe. -to -toe with the Eagles. All right, as the teams head to the locker room, we'll go to a break. We'll be back in about 10 minutes here on the UNCP Sports Network as the Braves battle Carson Newman here on Senior Day.
We're back at it here on the UNCP Sports Network. Braves down 14-10 as we start off the third quarter. UNCP playing well in the first, racking up 176 yards to 224 from Carson Newman. Braves probably could be up right now. They had three turnovers from Carson Newman they weren't able to take advantage of. The Braves one turnover themselves, but UNCP had a couple of drives stall out near the red zone in Carson Newman territory. So here we go. The Eagles of Buda Deep. It's Caden Patterson back to receive for UNCP. It's uh, Kenley Nelson looking for a freeze. Actually, no, that's a big man down there taking it downfield for UNCP. Jamon Ebrin with the kickoff return. Jamon Ebrin there on the return. Tackled by Carson Newman, 34. Marcus it's his first Williams kickoff return of the season. And he gets a pretty nice job there out to the 29 yard line. At their own 29 yard line. So Ebron, the retro freshman running back. One over 49 part of this year now. He's 51. He was the one on that last kickoff return. First and 10 for UNCP, Quad Williams, and he is bottled up in the backfield. Loss of two all over it. There for Carson Newman. That's Zach Fuller, the freshman linebacker out of Jessup, Georgia. Also Jordan Price, the senior in the backfield as well. Braves didn't have a ton of success running the ball in the first half, but late in the second quarter they started to move the ball pretty well on the ground. 20 carries for 61 yards and a score running the ball today for UNCP. Here's a completion to Corey West and he's taken down quickly. Got to the 29 yard line. Gain of a yard there for Corey West and now it'll be third and one. So UNCP with a third long situation. The Braves today struggling one for seven on third down. Struggled on third down most of this season. Braves with three wide receivers on the far side. Tailback in there is Quad Williams. Jones steps up in the pocket, throws downfield. Incomplete trying to hit Jalen Nixon. Marcus Williams in coverage. Williams earlier was ejected from the game for a targeting penalty. But they overturned it at the half. He's back in the game and he's able to come up with a pass breakup. So it'll be fourth and 10. Braves now drop to one and eight. On one for eight on third down. So a three and out. Start off the second half for UNCP. And Parks gets rid of it. The low shorter punt and takes a bounce in favor of Carson Newman. Back to receive was Desmond Farrell. He doesn't even get a hand on it. And he takes an Eagles bounce. Didn't really go anywhere at the 35 yard line. So we'll see if Carson Newman can take control of this game as they will be in possession to start off this third quarter after the quick three and out. Last time Carson Newman had the ball. It's an 11 play, 53 yard drive. Besides that one, one nine yard run they had late in the first half to run the clock out. Antonio Wimbush with the run. Hand it off to Wimbush and he's picked up five yards. Antonio Wimbush. Just joining us here, talked about it early in the broadcast. What a fantastic season he's had. Over a thousand yards rushing coming into the game. That's 10, 10 games played for Carson Newman. So you're talking about over 100 yards per game. And he's on pace to, to do that once again today. 12 carries, 68 yards, and a touchdown so far. Derek Evans, the quarterback, is three for four throwing. It's three carries for one yard. Done a great job commanding the offense, though. Sharon Jackson, right side. He's hit near the line of scrimmage. He's given three yards. Third and two. So here we go. The UNCP defense looking to step up. Two for four today on third down is Carson Newman. Into the on the season. 
Carson Newman under 50%, right at about 45% on third down. Here's a quick scamper up the middle, and they got just enough for the first. The Eagles convert. Derek Evans takes it for a first down. Out across the 45-yard line. First down, Carson Newman. First half, it flew by. Both these teams taking a pretty methodical approach. A lot of long drives. Offenses have had success. That's why we've had clock time run off the clock quickly, because the offense has gone on some drives. Pump fake, Evans is pressured. Somehow he escapes, he's running, and he's thrown down for a sack by Colton Weeks. The Braves' leading tackler on the season. Takes down Evans. How about the acceleration from Weeks? Loss of nine on the play. Evans is not an easy guy to take down in the open field. And Weeks just made it look easy there, throwing him down. Weeks, the redshirt sophomore at a high point in North Carolina. Putting Carson Newman way back with a second and 19. Jackson goes in motion out to the right side and a timeout, some confusion there as Derek Evans will force the Eagles to take a timeout. And the UNCP sidelines fired up about that one. Braves defense putting Carson Newman in a tough spot. So the Eagles are still over 200 yards rushing here today. Uh, the Braves defense is uh, playing well here to start off the second half. And Carson Newman does have under seven yards to carry. I mean, obviously, you, you don't want to be near seven yards to carry as a defense, but there's also a 75-yard run in there from Salisbury. And I think at, at that point, the Braves are a little bit shell-shocked. Braves fumbled, and then immediately it was a 75-yard touchdown run for Carson Newman. So if you wipe that out, the Eagles are just under five yards per carry. So the Braves defense, outside of that 75-yard run they allowed, have been pretty strong. But it's easy to say if you just wipe a 75-yard touchdown off the board. Here's Evans rolling right side, stumbled, gathered his footing, throwing it deep, batted away. Oh, almost an unbelievable catch. What an effort down the sideline. Not able to pull it in downfield. Down. That was Romain Kelly, the intended wide receiver. And now it's a third and 19. That was a wild play. The ball was batted in the air. Kelly nearly came down with it. How about this four wideouts for Carson Newman? Wimbush is the tailback. Evans, pump fakes, looking to run on a draw play. He's got some room, jukes, but he is tackled. So that'll be a gain of about 10 yards, but not enough. For UNCP is Tajay Lyles on the tackle of Evans. Now it'll be fourth and nine. And we do have an injured player. That is Evans. That's the quarterback, Evans, that is down and hurt. For Carson Newman, they've had. Tyler Fackerson with some experience at quarterback this year. And Tyson Heron as well. But Evans is making his 22nd career start. He is uh, their guy there at quarterback, and he is down. I hate to see that with the way he's played here today. Three of five through the air, but running the ball well. Evans making his 20 second consecutive start. Not just 22 career, but 22nd in a row. That's why you see the Carson Newman offense zoom in this year, because he's the one commanding it. Takes, you know, sometimes with option quarterbacks, you think they're not that important because they don't throw the ball that often. Well, it's still crucial that he makes those reads. Quarterback still the most position on uh, most important position on the field even in the option quarterback uh, in the 
the option attack on offense. And Evans is limping off, looks like his left leg. So now for Carson Newman. Tyson Heron is second on the depth chart at quarterback. We'll see if he comes in next drive or maybe Evans will feel better because right now Carson Newman has to punt. So we got a snap, they weren't expecting it and the officials blow it dead. Wow, the ball went right past the punter. Went right past Craig Koenig. And let's check the call here. I guess they weren't ready, so we kind of redo it. What a break for Carson Newman. Back at his own 33 yard line. Hopefully he'll be ready for this snap if you're a Carson Newman fan. A little bit of a low snap, Braves come after it, not able to come up with a block. Devin Jones back to receive, no fair catch. He tries to take off and he's tripped up and thrown down at the 13 yard line. Jones had the defense bearing down on him, he elected to try and make a move. And luckily nothing disastrous happened there. So UNCP with the first and 10 at their own 13 yard line. We got a media timeout. But for UNCP, it's a great opportunity this drive here. So a shaky start for both offenses to start the second half off. But for the Braves, who have moved the ball well, they have not, not favorable field position, but fresh set of downs as UNCP had an interesting drive chart so far. Three and outs, long touchdown drive. Long drive that resulted in a fumble. Three and out, a long drive that resulted in a field goal. And then back to back, three and outs for UNCP. So it's basically either a long successful drive or a three and out so far for the Braves. Can't help but go back to that crucial moment in this game when UNCP early in the second quarter had the ball in the red zone, or at least near the red zone. It's a fumble from Eric Price off a 10 play 55 yard drive. Carson Newman recovered the fumble. Next play, Dimitri Salisbury 20, or 75 yard touchdown. And that's really the difference in this game. Carson Newman, seven of their points come from that, the UNCP looking to come up with something on offense. First and 10 at their own 13 yard line. Sideline certainly feeling good today. The Braves just kind of seem to feel like this is the most upbeat we've seen UNCP in a few weeks. Like I said, it's been disappointing the way things have gone on the field this season, but UNCP looking like maybe they have a fresh perspective here the final week of the season. Jones will throw downfield, looking for Carter, can't hit him. That's a nice job by Josh Jones. Evades the sack and almost threw a completion to Carter. It's as good of an incompletion as you'll see. Jones now 10 of 20 on the day, 115 yards. No interceptions. He hasn't even really come close to throwing an INT so far. A few throws into coverage, but overall he's, he's played sharp, a true freshman. Second and 10 for the Braves, and they're back into a passing look here with five wide receivers. Jones throws underneath the West. It's too low, incomplete. Well, if West can catch that, he likely is tackled pretty quickly, but maybe he can turn up field. At least it would have been a much more manageable third down. Corey West and Josh Jones are not on the same page here today. West has two catches, but it's for negative two yards, and West has been targeted five times. And those three incompletions were not great throws by Jones. Here's the third and 10. Four wideouts this side, this time. Nelson's the tailback. Here's a throw over the middle, low and incomplete. Looking to hit 
Aaron Whitaker couldn't pull it in. It'd be fourth and ten. Brings up fourth down. So there it is, another three and out for UNCP. Braves offense, three consecutive drives that have gone three and out now. Back to receive Desmond Farrell for Carson Newman. Right at about midfield on the UNCP logo. Isaac Parks catches it at the goal line, boots this one deep against the win, and Farrell fumbles it, ball is loose, and the Eagles are on it. 47 yard line. So that wind really taking some distance off Park's Mario kick, Midian. but also likely threw Farrell off a little bit. There's a decent wind out there, right at about 12 miles per hour. Right to left on your screen. And that affected likely the judgment there of Farrell, bounced off his chest. Almost another disastrous special teams play. Two special teams fumbles today for the Eagles. First and 10 for the Eagles, and great field position starting in Braves territory. And so it is not Derek Evans at quarterback, it is Tyson Heron. He turns it hands to Jackson, bursts up field, and he's got a nice gain. Look at him drive the leg, still going, and he's marked down at the 39 yard line. Jackson with the carry. But it's a nice gain of eight for Jackson. Balance for Carson Newman, 72 yards rushing for Jackson. Gain of eight on the play, second and two. Wimbush has 68, Salisbury was 75. 220 as a team. And comes in motion across the formation. And it's a run play right side, Heron, he's got room inside the 20, and he's thrown down at the 14. A misdirection. It is tough to follow at times, constantly confusing the defense, and it does that just there. They had a man come in motion. It was Christian Bass, and they go the opposite way to Heron, and gets himself a really nice game. All the way to the 14, that's a 25 yard carry. And now it's Heron again up the gut, and he lowers the shoulder and got five yards. Tyson Heron with the carry. Gain of five on the play, now second and five. Up to 245 yards rushing. Again, 338 yards per game on the ground, second in the country for the Eagles. Right on pace for that, if not to exceed that, but the Braves are still right in this game. Here's Wimbush up the gut, down inside the five. Antonio Wimbush with the rush. For, for the Braves on the tackle there, Devin Higgins. First and Devin goal. Higgins with the stop. At the four yard line from the right hash. First and goal, Carson Newman. Eagles looking to their sideline here for the play call from head coach Mike Turner in his second year at the helm. 35th year with the program. Here's a hand up to Jackson right side, cuts it upfield and into the end zone for a touchdown. Carson Newman takes a two possession lead with a heck of a drive. Granted it started in UNCP territory. The backup quarterback Tyson Heron leads the Eagles to a touchdown. On to attempt the extra point, number 44, Caden Patterson. So Sharon Jackson takes it in for his first touchdown of the day. Each touchdown for Carson Newman has come from a different player. Here's the extra point, almost blocked, but it is up and through. Oh no, it's no good, excuse me. No good there from Caden Patterson, so it's 20 to 10. Now, disappointing for the Braves defense, but uh, Stuff and Dracoat Black set up with Carson Newman having the ball at the 47 yard line. And the way UNCP's offense has played, obviously, this game far from over, plenty of time left, and the Braves just got to break out of the funk that they're on on uh, offense right now. And a bad funk with three consecutive three and outs. 
last long sustained drive came late in the first half. It was a drive that lasted over five minutes, but it resulted in a field goal. Four three and outs today for UNCP. Also, what technically was a three and out as well earlier, that resulted in a missed field goal. So they really have five three and outs today. But also three long, impressive drives. So we'll see what Braves offense comes out after they kick deep. Here's Patterson's boot. It's high and kind of short. It's collected by Ebron. Ebron out across the 25. Spin move, fighting, writhing, and he's up to the 29. Come on, Ebron, the redshirt freshman running back. Zach Talley on the takedown for Kirsten Newman. At their own 29 yard line. So here we go, the Braves again. We're going to get something going halfway through the third quarter. Down 10 at home against 6 and 4, an excellent Carson Newman team in the upper half of the SAC conference. Braves lost 45 10 last year to the Eagles. Jones will hand it off to Quad Williams, cuts through the hole, drives the legs, and he's past the 35, marked by the 36. Seven yards for Quad. Quad Williams with a rush. Stopped by he was kind of a awkwardly tangled up there. It looks like he's okay, though. Gain of seven on the carry, second and three. He's kind of shaking his legs out. Looks like Quad's okay. Stick second and three now for the Braves. Quad now with 14 carries, 45 yards and a touchdown today. And the offset eye. Another handoff to Quad. Patience, looking for a hole, and there's nothing there. He'll lose a yard. Swallowed up in the backfield. Carson Newman's front. Kenneth Quad Spiller Williams into the, the backfield. By number 99, Kenneth Spiller. Spiller, 6'1", 300 pounds, a true freshman out of Miami. Loss of one on the play, third and four. Carson Newman recruits pretty well out of Miami. Also got another starter, Desmond Farrell, out of Miami, the starting corner. Another corner, Mario Mezier, out of Miami as well. So it's kind of a little pipeline they have there, especially on defense. Third and four for UNCP. Here's a quick throw, lofted out near his side. McKinley Nelson stumbles, but he's got the first down. Nice job by Jones. The defense was coming at him there on the edge. And he lofted it right over the top the of Mario Mezier to Nelson, who fought for the first down. Before that completion there, the Braves were one for nine on third down. Now they're at two of 10. So UNCP patient put Lowry and Nixon in motion, the far side of the formation. Here's a hand up with the middle of Nelson. He's got a crease out across midfield to the 40. The true freshman McKinley Nelson to the 20. Knocked out of bounds, but he got all the way to the 16 yard line. They spot him at the 15. It's a 45 yard run for McKinley Nelson. So Nelson had a big run last week of 58 yards that didn't go to the house. This time he goes 50. Big play running back, McKinley Nelson. True freshman, credit the line there, giving him a huge hole. Now they go to Quad Williams. He cuts forward, he gets inside the 15. Quad Williams with a rush two yard gain. Well, you gotta, you gotta frankly be a little bit surprised at how well UNCP is playing on the O-line. Not that they don't have the talent there, but they are young and they have so many injuries. Not a lot of depth there on the O-line, but they have come to play here against Carson Newman. UNCP offense playing well. Here's a second and eight, handoff to Quad. Nothing's there, it's a loss of a couple. So it'll be third and 10 now for the Braves. Converted a third down earlier this drive. Need to do so on another one. But even if they don't, still in field goal range, and that would make it a one possession game once again. Third and 10. 
Graves get the play call. Here's the third and ten. First down available at the five. Jones drops back. He's got pressure coming on the edges. Throws middle. Too high and complete. He had Shaman Hicks at about the three. But he tried to fit it in there. Need some zip on that. Needed to show off that arm strength that we know he has. Bit too high and complete. The Braves with a crucial field goal attempt. Alex Alvarado was 7 of 14 on the year. Under four left here in the third. The holder is Austin Foley. The kick is up and it is good. Nice job of the 32 yard field goal. And UNCP makes it a one possession game once again. 20 to 13 our score. That is a much needed drive for the Braves. Just talking about it coming into that drive. Is what offense would we see? Is it the one that was going on those methodical drives or three and outs? Well, it's a pretty nice drive. Eight plays, 56 yards. Three minutes, 37 seconds. Alvarado with his second field goal of the day. So how about this? Braves in a one possession game here with Carson Newman at home. UNCP will be back in action next week as they play at Catawba. But for Carson Newman, they end the season here with this game on the road. Braves have Alvarado boot a deep fresh off the field goal. Receive for Carson Newman, Antonio Wimbush, Marcus Williams as well. So Alvarado will boot it deep. Kick deep, oh it's another pooch kick, high and short, and it's loose again, ball is loose at the 36. Carson Newman looks like they're pretty confident they have it. Let's wait for the signal. And the Eagles do have it, wow. Fell on it there for Carson Newman, that was Jordan Griffin. So the Braves almost cash in on another high short pooch kick. That is working well for UNCP. Something Carson Newman did not expect to see clearly because their up men have not been ready for those kicks. So the penalty against the Braves moves the ball up to the 41 yard line. Pretty good field position for Carson Newman. Last possession was a five play, 47 yard drive. That was a touchdown, just over two minutes. So far the Eagles have run for 259 yards out of their 283 total yards. They've only attempted five passes. Here's a handoff right side. And it'll be a nice little gain up to the 45 yard line. Antonio Wimbush with the carry. Wimbush on the carry. Wimbush now with 14 carries, leads the team. Sharon Jackson has 13 of them. Really spreading things out well. Tyson Heron is still the quarterback. Derek Evans, starter in 22 consecutive games for Carson Newman, is shaken up. He's on the sideline, standing behind Coach Mike Turner. Second and six, Heron running right side. No, he did hand it off, and there's nothing there. Chopped down quickly, gain of a yard. Braves are all over. T.Y. hitting on the tackle. It'll be third and five. Three for six on third down today. Look to their 
your sideline for the play. Final game here at Grace P. Johnson Stadium for the Braves. Whatever happens, it has been a heck of an effort. Need a stop though here on third down. Aaron will hand it off right, fake a handoff, but the play's blown dead. We got a whistle and a, let's check the call here. Delay of game, wow. And that is the last thing you want there if you're Carson Newman. Now into an obvious, obvious passing situation with backup quarterback. And Tyson Heron, the senior out of Bogart, Georgia. Now Heron does have six passing attempts this year. One touchdown, one interception. Not where he's comfortable though. Here's a third and 10. They will look to throw. Late handoff to Wimbush, looking to go far side. Braves chop him down just shy of the first down marker by a couple yards. Carry by Antonio Wimbush, stopped by Josh Mann. That was a heck of a job there by Octavius McLaurin on the tackle. Chasing down Wimbush to make the play. Also there for UNCP in the area they had Josh Manns, but McLaurin putting his weight onto tailback to make a play. But it's fourth and two, and Carson Newman's going for it. Aaron looks to the sideline. Maybe they're just looking to make the Braves jump. They will hand it off, and it's a first down to Wimbush across the 45. So it's an eight-yard gain. Carried by Antonio Wimbush, stopped by Amari Bryce Green. They're on fourth down. down Quick little handoff. On, Carson Newman, Newman sticks to the script, sticks to their game plan. They know what works, and their players master these plays and they're confident each and every time they can pick up that fourth down. They're now two for three today on third down. Here's a handoff near side. Breaking a tackle, that's Salisbury. Spin move, fighting, what a run by Salisbury inside the 35. So it's a 10 yard pickup. Got some nice blocks out in front. Couple missed tackles by UNCP. Three missed tackles. And finally brought down there on the sideline. Now another first down for Carson Newman. Now up over 300 yards of offense on the day as well. And that'll do it though for the third quarter. So after three, we've got ourselves a game. It is a battle. 20 to 13 as we head into the third quarter. UNCP going head to head here with Carson Newman. Down seven at home. As you see everyone holding up four fingers. And they've got a chance to beat a very good football team here at Grace B. Johnson Stadium if you, UNCP can step up in the fourth. If you're the Braves, you look back and think about some of the opportunities you've missed. But uh, for UNCP, you gotta give them credit for the way they've competed here at home. The Braves finished last season with two wins on the year. Looking to surpass that already here at home. CP with a group of seniors playing their last ever game here at Grace B. Johnson Stadium. Maybe it doesn't hit these guys until they walk out onto the field and realize it. It's kind of a hard thing to realize when things end on you so quickly, but UNCP with seven seniors. Jojo Grant, Josh Manns, T.Y. Hinton, Justin Davis, Amante Gamble, Tajay Lyles. Nathan London all playing their last game here. Carson Newman on the move. First and 10 at the Braves, 34 as we start off the fourth quarter. Stand up up the gut, looking for some room. It's Wimbush tripped up and down by Cauldron, but it's an 11-yard pickup for Wimbush. 23. 
That puts Wimbush up over 100 yards once again. Came into this game averaging over eight yards per carry, first in the country. So if there's any consolation prize for UNCP, it's right now he's right at about six yards per carry. Below his season average, still good obviously. Here's first and 10 and it's Sharon Jackson this time. Burrows through for five yards. Sharon Jackson with the rush. Carson Newman has a team up over seven yards per carry. Pretty much right at seven yards per carry here in this game. On 43 attempts. They are just relentless. It takes a toll on your defensive line, Mel. They're constantly in battles each and every play. It's going to hand off right up the gut. It's near first down. That's Sharon Jackson. Sharon Jackson Fresh set of downs, Curry, they spot him at the 13 yard line. So for UNCP, I mentioned earlier the defense alignment probably gonna have more tackles than they usually have. Well, that's certainly been the case. McLaurin leads the team with seven tackles. Dominic Davis also with six tackles. Six for Jordan Howard though as well. Who also has a forced fumble. Howard playing well. First and 10 from the Braves 13. And off right side, and it's taken down, but it's gonna be a face mask, I believe. The way Wimbush immediately went to the turf there with his head down, Dominic Davis likely gonna be charged with a face mask. And Wimbush is shaken up. So Wimbush is down at the moment. So it's a clipping actually. No call for face mask. Clipping pushes the ball back. Huge break for UNCP. Instead of a second and nine. This ball is gonna be moved all the way back to the 27 yard line. Now to be a first and 23. First down available at the four yard line. That was McDowell that was called with a clip. At some point here, we'll see if Carson Newman elects to go to the air. There's a handoff, a fake to Jackson actually, and Heron takes it, spins down, and he's only got two yards or so to the 25. Looked like a little miscommunication there. I think Jackson thought he was going to get the ball. But Heron ran into him and fell down to the grass. So it'll be a second and 21 for the Eagles. Carson Newman, Newman, meanwhile, pretty pleased with how this clock is starting to leak down. Never too early to start thinking about that. It's going to be a pass now. Throw it far side. It's completion to Salisbury and he trips and falls. Had room. Maybe not a touchdown per se, but he tripped and he's down at the 23 yard line. It's only a gain of about a yard. And UNCP's Tavarine kind of let him know about it. Third and 19. First down's the four yard line. This is definitely where Carson Newman's not comfortable in it. Not only an obvious passing down, but backup quarterback in there. And the Eagles will take a timeout. They only have one left. UNCP, that could certainly come back to bite the Eagles. Under 12 left, plenty of time. If I had to guess here, Carson Newman might run this ball just to, to get it into field goal range. Got Caden Patterson as the kicker. He's two for five this year. But Drew Udy, the sophomore, also is two for five this season. So they've got a couple of options at kicker. I'm sure they elect to go for a field goal. No attempted field goals yet today for Carson Newman. They have three touchdowns so far.
Braves obviously do not want to get beat over the top. So your top priority is not guessing that the Eagles are going to run the football here. Otherwise, they'll make you pay the price. Completed some deep passes this year. You have a 57 yard touchdown pass that was thrown by Derek Evans this season. But here we go. Obviously, you wouldn't need 57, you'd need 23. The first down's the four yard line, third and 19. Aaron's still the quarterback. He'll hand it off to Wimbush, and he's hit the line of scrimmage and taken down. Host of defenders all over him, led by Dominic Davis, who says no. It's a gain of about three, but it'll be fourth and 16 at the 20. So a 37-yard field goal attempt on the way for Carson Newman. And it is Caden Patterson. His season long is 41 yards. So he's done this before. This one will be from 37. The holder is quarterback Heron. Here's the kick. And off the upright, no good. Huge miss, and the Braves take over down one possession. That one hung in the air a while. Felt like an eternity. That ball was flying through the air end over end. Ultimately clanks off the upright. Braves the first and 10 at their own 20. Huge chance for the Braves offense. UNCP today, 232 yards. And last time they had the ball was a nice drive. They went eight plays, 56 yards, resulted in a field goal. Josh Jones in the offense. It's been Josh Jones the entirety of this game, which is a first this season. Usually it's him and Dale kind of sifting back and forth. Here's a deflection and an incompletion. Dangerously flying through the air there inside the five. Trying to hit Quad Williams on a little screen pass. But instead, that one was batted down. Jacob Curley coming in on the rush to bat the ball away. Second and 10 for UNCP at their own 20. Jones takes the snap, comes in motion, throws downfield, got a man, that's caught on the sideline. No, it's ruled incomplete. Aaron Whitaker, the redshirt junior, could pull it in. And that's one you got to complete it for UNCP. Not a great throw. Jones on the move. Couldn't fit it in. Incomplete. So now a third and ten for UNCP at their own 20. Braves with five three and outs today, looking to avoid another. They are two for 11 on third down. Four wide outs. Trips on the near side. Jones handles the snap. They got a rush coming. Jones steps up. Now rolling out towards the sideline. Looking to throw late. Incomplete. Trying to hit Whitaker. Couldn't find him, and the Braves will have to punt. So the Braves come out. Off the turnover, three consecutive pass plays. So only 20 seconds ran off the clock here in this three and out. And UNCP will boot it deep. Standing at their own five yard line, back to receive is Desmond Farrell. Farrell does have a punt return touchdown this year. He's a dangerous returner. He's a 70 yarder. Short low kick, bounces and rolls. In UNTP's favor, all the way to the 28. That's a nice punt there from Parks. Goes from the 20 to the other 28 yard line. It's 52 yards there from Isaac Parks. He's been one of the best punters in the country this year. And he's living up to that name in his performance here today. Adidas provides some of the most innovative products in the shoe and apparel industry. And it's one of the 
Parks today, five punts. Below his average still at 40 yards per kick today on the season, over 43 yards per punt. But he does have a punt pinned inside the 20 as well. Plenty of time for the Braves. But uh, Carson Newman looking to milk some clock. Look at this. Derek Evans is back in, and he's going to throw deep complete to Phillips across midfield. Derek Evans comes back in at quarterback. First play is a long completion. 33 yards. You could see Evans thinking about it, and if the read was there, he was going to make the throw, and he did just that as Phillips gets past Devin Jones for the big gain. So now the Eagles into Braves territory. I was talking about the clock. Rather than Carson Newman milking clock, they're trying to put another drive together, put some points on the board. Fake pitch, nothing's there. He's swollen up at the line of scrimmage. UNCP all over it. Devin Higgins in the area. It was Dominic Davis as well. No gain. Well done by the Braves defense. There's nothing there for Evans. Whether he pitches it or keeps it, it's going to be stuffed, and it was. So that pass to Phillips is officially a 28-yard completion to the Braves 44 before that last play was stuffed. The hand up up the middle to Wimbush, and he'll take it right side for five yards. Set up a huge third and five at the Braves 39-yard line. Three of eight today on third down. The Eagles have been stopped on their last third, two third down attempts. Again, Evans, the quarterback, and the offense seems to operate a lot better with him in there. He will hand it off, though, and Braves stop it. Two yards short, it'll be fourth and two. So the Braves come up with a huge stop, at least for now. Likely Carson Newman going to be going for it on this fourth and two. Last carry there was Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams' first carry of the game. Here's fourth and two. He's still in there, along with Wimbush. Makarov comes in motion, the tight end. Running right side, and it's going to be close. Diving forward is Evans, the quarterback. It depends on the spot. They may have to measure this. UNCP says he stops short, and of course, Carson Newman says, nope, we got it. they're going to measure this. They're going to have to march the chains all the way across the field. From our angle here, it looks like he's got it. But just barely. So here we go. The huge measurement. It's Trayvon Gibson kind of standing in the way of our view, but there it is. First down for Carson Newman. Evans just stretches forward enough to pick up the first down. The drive continues. Well, the way Carson Newman's kicked field goals this season, four for 11 on the year, your UNCP is still certainly have a chance here to stop this drive without the Eagles producing any points. And even if they do produce points, this game's far from over. But you need to stop here to realistically keep your hopes alive. Man in motion and a false start. Christian Bass came in motion. Someone moved early in, Carson Newman. But their sixth penalty of the game shoots themselves in the foot again. Four fumbles today. Carson Newman's lost two of them. 
They also have a turnover on down, so three total turnovers compared to one for UNCP. That'll be a first and 15. Ball start was on Zach Brooks. Pushing back to the 39 yard line. Pass comes in motion, here's hand off to Williams, bust through the line, but he's gonna be stopped short of the 30 yard line. Nice pickup of eight yards for Williams. So all of a sudden, Williams with two carries here the last few plays. There's now been six different ball carriers in this game for Carson Newman. For UNCP, they've also spread the ball around, as they usually do. Seven different receivers have caught passes. Spreading the wealth here, both these teams. 334 yards rushing now today for Carson Newman. Four yards below their season average. Here's a second and seven. Quick pitch to Wimbush. Trying to fight inside the 30, and he's wrestled down. Antonio Wimbush with that was Trayvon Gibson on the tackle. That was uh, Tajay Lyles also in the area for the Braves. Third and four, a pickup of three yards on that last pitch. Huge opportunity for the UNCP defense again. Carson Newman 0 for 3, their last three third downs. Three for nine on the game. Carson Newman not in field goal range with how they've, at least what they've shown this season. At the 27, here's a quick handoff. Up the middle, Williams, he's got a hole. Inside the 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Williams burst through for a 28-yard score on third and four. Man, what an opportunity for the Braves. Williams got through the first level, bounced off a couple defenders, the last being Justin Davis, and Williams goes all the way. Four different players have scored the touchdowns now for Carson Newman. Braves with three timeouts under six left. And the tough spot down by 13 as the extra point is booted through right down the middle. Newman, 28 yards there for Williams. 365 yards rushing now today. 419 total yards for Carson Newman. Again, they missed three consecutive third down attempts did the Eagles before converting that one. So the Braves, like I said, good news for UNCP, they still have three timeouts. They've been able to move the ball. Josh Jones started this game on a tear. He was very accurate, but he is Kind of fizzled out since then. He's now 11 of 27 on the game for 120 yards. He was six of nine with a couple of drops early in this game. But the Braves, when you look at how they've played here at home, against a very good Carson Newman team. If UNCP had played this way, against a lot of their opponents, probably result in wins. I mean, UNCP's played some winning football. It's just the Eagles are a precise, excellent team, and UNCP has usually been inconsistent. But this week, got to give them a ton of credit. Only three penalties for UNCP. The offense hasn't been that consistent, but they've certainly moved the ball against a very good Eagles defense. Braves out to receive the kick. And for UNCP this year, returning kicks, Devin Jones has taken one back. But right now, he's not even back there. Kinley Nelson is back to receive. Caden Patterson will boot it deep. And this one will go towards Abron for UNCP. Retrieved at the 16-yard line. Cuts towards the sideline. 
Take that across the 30. Kickoff return by Jamon Ebron. Ebron. Tackle by nine, a pretty nice return there up to the 30-yard line. So now Braves, the fresh drive. Five and a half minutes, they've got plenty of time. Three timeouts as well. UNTP looking to make this a one-possession game once again. They are certainly still in this one. How much time's on the clock? Question is, can they move the ball? Struggled to do so here so far in the second half especially. And off left side, Quad Williams. Nothing there, he's taken down. A couple yards for Quad. So UNCP this half with 56 yards of offense. Tackle by number 55, 58 now. 56 out of those 58 yards all came on one drive. Started halfway through the third quarter, ended late in the third. Here's a throw near side, too high for Hicks, he can't pull it in. That would have been near first down. And Josh Jones, cold stretch continues. They started this game very accurate, very confident in the pocket. Now he's just missing throws here and there, and it's third and seven. Braves two for 12 today on third down. This is where they've really struggled. Either could Conversion with four wide receivers. Jones steps up, throws middle. Oh, it hit West in the stomach. First thought it was going to be intercepted, and that ball should have been caught. Pass intended for 40 right. Take another look at it. And to be fair, that ball was deflected, likely threw off West's perspective of the ball, but uh, tough break for both Carson Newman and UNCP, that ball very well could have been intercepted. UNCP going for it, fourth and eight at their own 34 yard line. Jones takes the snap, steps up and throws right side and it's picked off. Mario Mezier going inside the 30, 20, 15, 10, five, walks in for a touchdown. It's a pick six for the Eagles. Fourth and eight, Jones had to throw, trying to make a play and trying to hit West who just really wasn't open. Vazier makes the play and takes it all the way. So the Eagles taking control. This was a one possession game, a war most of this second half. But they march down the field for a touchdown drive and then come up with a pick six to put themselves up three possessions. Patterson's extra point is good and the Braves are down 34-13. Well again, Josh Jones, true freshman, knowing he had to throw the ball downfield on a fourth and eight, but did not see Mezier, went right into his hands for an easy interception. Got some great blocks from his teammates as well and took it to the house. So now the Braves will take over once again. Down three possessions, just under five left. We've seen crazier things, especially with UNCP. Three timeouts. But they have not shown, especially this half, able to throw the ball consistently. Even that eight play 60, uh, 56 yard drive earlier was a lot of success on the ground. Which is a flip from early in the game in which UNCP was throwing it well. Caden Patterson to boot it deep. Ebron and Nelson back to receive for the Braves. High, shorter kick, Ebron racing get under it, and he dropped it, ball is loose, picks it up at the 24, spin move, dives forward, and he gets up to the 27. Pretty nice job by Ebron after the initial drop. Tally on the tackle, and UNCP will get back to work. Looking to get something going offensively. UNCP begins first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. 
three wide receivers for the Braves. Two out to the right side. Jones drops back to the throw, throws middle, some contact, incomplete, looking to hit Hicks. No call there, as it looked like Hicks might have been bumped before the ball got there. That last pick for Jones was his sixth of the season. Josh Jones now nine touchdowns and six interceptions here in his freshman season. And for Carson Newman's Mazir, that was actually his third pick of the year. Throw it near side, incomplete. That'll be third and ten, trying to hit Tyshawn Carter that time. Third and ten. Braves now 11 of 32 through the air. Again, it was an excellent start throwing the ball. At one point, Jones was six for eight. Here's a third and ten. Jones steps up, and he will run. Got some blocks near the 35. He's going to be just a couple yards short. Fourth and two now for UNCP. One of the Braves linemen looks like he's shaken up a little bit. That is Gage Baldwin. But it looks like he's toughing it out there, the Braves center in this game. Again, fourth and two. Jones drops back to throw, rolls right side. He's pressured, and he fights towards the sideline. I think he got a first down, and he did. Nice job by Josh Jones. Looked initially like he was just going to run out and then started tiptoeing and got himself about four yards for a first down. That's the UNCP first down. A late little toe tap and he stays in bounds. And then Carson Newman, Ray Artie Bridge, probably could have laid a hit to Jones, but he let him go. And he's certainly going to regret that. Instead of a turnover on downs, the Braves' drive continues. UNCP now two for three today on fourth down. Josh Dale throws right side. It's underthrown and complete. Dale might have had a man out there. I don't think that one was deflected. It just was well short and complete. Now to be second and ten. So that was Dale's first passing attempt. Usually Jones and Dale kind of switch throughout the game. That's how UNCP has gone for most of the season. And Jones was playing pretty well, so they were sticking with him. But now Dale gets an opportunity here late. Here's a second and 10. Dale with a pocket, but he looks to run right side. Hit Quad Williams in the backfield. He fights forward and uh, loss That's of a yard. Quad Williams, brought down by Antonio. So now it'll be third and 11. Loss of one on the play, fourth. Dale had a pocket there, but he kind of got a little nervous, looked to escape, and he hit the check down man and lost a yard. Four wide outs here for UNCP. Dale takes the snap, steps up, he's pressured and sacked, he's hit hard. Taken down, what a play. By Jerundi Wichi. And Trazel Jurdini Weish. It was Journey, excuse me, Jurdini Weish there on the play. Travzel Jurdini Weish on the sack. Coming up with a big play in the backfield. The freshman at Douglasville, Georgia with a sack, pushing the Braves back, and UNCP is forced to punt. Isaac Parks out to boot it away. Just over two minutes left. Parks gets rid of it. And this is a really nice punt. Nice catch by Farrell. He's looking for a crease. He's a dangerous return man if he can find a hole. Bust towards the sideline. Now back inside. The 35. Flag flies. And he's chucked out of bounds by Devin Jones at the 38. And uh-oh. And we get some frustrations brewing there on the sideline. 
as Jones chucked Farrell down to the grass and Carson Newman didn't like what they saw, took offense to it. There was a flag, as I mentioned, way back at about the 23-yard line, well before anything that happened on the sideline. So the officials discussing things. I think this one's going to come back due to the a hold or a block in the back. But what a punt by Isaac Parks, by the way. He just launched that punt. And it is a hold on Carson Newman. And they do enforce the late hit on Devin Jones of UNCP. So here are the Braves with only their fourth penalty of the game. And that was probably a little bit of frustration for UNCP with being down three scores. By the way, a very nice return by Farrell as well, leading up to that play. An elite, dangerous return, man. UNCP has bottled him up well today, but that time he kind of got loose. Part of that, though, was thanks to a penalty. Block in the back earlier in the play. Well, they enforce the penalty on Carson Newman, and then they tack on the 15 yards after that when they late hit out of bounds. The ball's placed at the 29 yard line. 419 yards today for Carson Newman. Three sixty-five on the ground above their season average. Just below their season average passing today with 54 yards. An average 78 yards per throw in the year. They got a flag, a couple of flags fly and a false start will go against Carson Newman. Push the ball back to the 24-yard line. It's first and 15. Minute 15, the Eagles looking to milk this clock and run the, run the game down to zeros. Eagles looking for seven wins on the year once they hang on to this game. There's a run play down the middle, a huge lane. Marcus Williams, and he's out into UNCP territory inside the 35, inside the 30, still fighting down inside the 20 to the 16. What a run by Williams. That is a 60 yard run before the Braves can take him down. Make it 59 yards to be exact, but wow. First down, Carson. A massive hole right down the middle of the field. And that almost puts Williams at 100 yards. Wimbush is up over 100 today as well. The 16 yard line, hand up up the middle to Williams, down inside the 10, stumbles and he almost got to the end zone, down to the five. Marcus Williams with the rush. 11 yards for him. And Trayvon Gibson is down and shaken up here for Justin UNCP. Davis. First and goal, Carson Newman. Again, Gibson down for the Braves. It's been a regular defensively this year. Played well, junior out of Claxton, Georgia. Checked out. Looks like his right leg there being checked by the trainer, Frank Bastone. One of the other trainer for UNCP, Mike Blackburn, who walks out there as well. Trainers have had their work cut out for him here for UNCP. A lot of injuries the last couple of weeks for the Braves. As Gibson gets a couple high fives from his teammates, Devin Jones and Yavel Morris. It's a first and goal. Coming off back-to-back -back impressive Marcus Williams carries to put him up over 100 yards. He has 110 yards on five carries, does Williams. Quarterback is Heron. It's a run.
and play right side inside the five before Toot Johnson's taken down. Carried by number five, Toot Johnson. And that's now seven different ball carriers for Carson Newman. That's Johnson's first Davis carry of the game. The play, second and goal from the three yard line. So again, Derek Evans did come in on a, a key drive earlier and completed a pass and led a touchdown drive. But then he was taken back out because he's not 100%. He was shaken up and there's no use in putting the injured guy back out there. I mean, he'll tough it out for his team if they need him, but they've got this game pretty much well in hand and you might as well play the senior, Tyson Heron, give him a chance here in his final collegiate game. And ultimately, that will do it. Carson Newman wins it. Final score, the Eagles 34, the Braves 13. UNCP falls to two and seven this season. And Carson Newman ends their 2018 campaign with a seven and four record. Tough way for the seniors to play their final game here at Grace B. Johnson Stadium. But give the Braves credit. Going into the fourth, this was a 20 to 13 game. UNCP had their chances, but couldn't come through in the end. The Eagles with 492 yards of offense, 438 on the ground, come out victorious. The Braves ended up with 240 total yards. UNCP special teams played well. They forced a couple turnovers on special teams. Had a turnover on downs as well. I mean, defense and special teams kept them in it for a while before ultimately the game is relinquished and won by Carson Newman, 34 to 13. For UNCP, it was a decent day for Quad Williams, 18 carries, 47 yards and a touchdown. Kenley Nelson had three carries, 47 yards as well. Josh Jones had 34 yards rushing and 120 passing. Shimon Hicks with two catches for 65 yards. And uh, for UNCP elsewhere defensively, it was a nice performance from some of the defensive linemen. Nine tackles for Dominic Davis and Octavius McLaurin, two of the interior defensive linemen with nine tackles. And you'll see that against the option attack, but they're certainly going to need some ice tonight with all the physicality that happened in the trenches today. Tajay Lyles, also the defensive end with six tackles. Jordan Howard for UNCP had six tackles and a forced fumble as well. That'll do it for UNCP's season here at home as they fall down to two and seven on the year. It is a victory for Carson Newman with a final score of 34 to 13. For our director and producer tonight, Sam Jelinek, working the cameras for us and doing a great job all season. Josh Reed, Brandon Hodge, Robert Hawkins, Isaiah Diaz as well. They've all done a fantastic job. We thank them and we thank you for tuning in to football season here all year long. Basketball season is upon us already here and we'll have plenty of action for you coming up that includes next week, as we've got a game for you coming up on Friday. The men's basketball team will be in Mount Olive. Keep it locked to the UNCP Sports Network as we go into the winter slate. Plenty ahead. Unfortunately, we will not be able to broadcast next week's football game at Catawba. But again, we will have the uh, basketball game taking place on Friday in Mount Olive for you here on the UNCP Sports Network. Final score, Carson Newman 34, UNCP 13. I'm Chris Clayton. Have a great weekend.